What's going on YouTube? Shadowfox4562 here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Market Watch. This is a segment I like to do sort of often but I haven't done in a long time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about a bunch of cards that have either seen a sharp increase, sharp decrease, or stayed relatively the same since they came out over the past couple weeks or so. So without further ado, let's get into it. First card on the list is Emergency Teleport. Emergency Teleport saw a ridiculous increase from about ten or eleven dollars a week ago to a whopping twenty-five to thirty dollars. This card is a card you should probably get rid of um, because people will start, I think, to start not topping with Ritual Beast, and then this card is going to go down. So I would off them as soon as you can. Next card is Regeki. Regeki has seen a slight increase in price. I think partially due to the fact that it has gone out of circulation for a little while now, so it's not as hard or it's not as easy to come by. And also on top of that, um, it also is seeing a lot more play in the main deck and is much more essential this format than it was last format. Next card is Necroz of Trishula. Necroz of Trishula came out and it was $40. Surprisingly, it stayed the same. I think partly due to the fact that people realize you don't need to play more than one or two of him in a deck, and he's not essential to winning anymore. He's really not your ace card. Next card is Necroz of Valkyris. Necroz of Valkyris came out and it was $40. Then all of a sudden, it jumped to a whopping $55, and this is because people realize that you need to play two to three in a deck. This card is highly sought after, one of the harder cards to pull in the set, and I would pick them up. Next card is Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion was about $2 during YCS Charleston, or a little bit before YCS Charleston. Then after that, when Noden got announced, it instantly, haha, instantly, um, went to 7 to $10. I would suggest picking up this card if you can for less than 5 and hopefully flipping it for a profit when Noden comes out. Next card we're going to talk about is Chaos Hunter. Chaos Hunter is going for around 5 to $10. And the reason why is because Infernoids are being played and Necros are being played. And it says your opponent cannot banish cards. So that's why it's going up. If you have any of these and people want them, off them. They're not going to stay up for long. Just, just off them. Next card is Volcanic Shell. Volcanic Shell was about, it was about seven to ten dollars. Then it jumped to fifteen. This is all because Volcanics actually did do very well at YCS Charleston. In my opinion, under the old format, they would have won the entire event. And that's another thing in another video. But uh, this card's fifteen dollars now. So yeah. <laughs> Next card is Max C. I would definitely, I would definitely think about picking these up. The supers a week ago, two weeks ago, went for about five dollars. They're up to eight dollars now, and it's just one of those cards that's going to be increasingly hard to find, and we're going to need it in the future. So I'd pick this up for about five, six dollars. Next card is Magic Planner. Magic Planner was a two dollar card. After Volcanics won, it became a $10 card. Supers are 15 That's ridiculous. Off them now. Off them now. Next card is Volcanic Rocket. Volcanic Rocket was going for about $20. Then, after YCS Charleston, it went to $50. And now it's down to about $30. So, this card, um, you can hold on to it if you want. I wouldn't. I would get rid of them. It's a volcanic rocket, guys. How long? How much longer until volcanics become good again? It was a surprise factor deck, and I understand that the deck is very, very good at what it does, but it's going to get power creeped eventually, and then you're out of free money. Next card is Vanity's Emptiness. You know, it's kind of hard to believe that just two, three months ago, the commons were going for 40 35 to 45 dollars a piece and now you have this is going for gosh six dollars five dollars six dollars 
Then the common vanity is emptiness goes for 15, which is crazy, by the way. And then the secret goes for 20. I would hold on to these. I would get as many of these as you can and hoard them for very, very cheap. One reason is because once this goes out of print, it's going to go up in price. Everyone's going to want it. Now, the downside to this is a lot of people think it might get hit on the April ban list. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll find out. Next cards on the list are Infernoid cards, and these are the only two I have, so... I would pick up Infernoid cards because I think they have the potential to go up in price substantially due to the fact that they're getting more support and they're very, very low right now, so you're really not losing any money. I mean, you can pick up the entire deck for about, gosh, for about 60, 70 bucks. So I would definitely pick it up. Next, we're going to talk about all the other Necloth cards that are not named Brionic and Valkyrius. These cards, when they first came out, were $15 a piece, except for Decisive Armor and Colossalus. This was $20, this was $15, this was $10, this was $7, and this was like $5. You can get all of these for $2. A piece like it's ridiculous um i wouldn't say pick them up unless you're playing the deck because you're really not going to get any value out of them and the reason why is because people want to trade for them but they're not going to trade a lot for them and on top of that before these guys start to go up in price the deck's gonna get hit it's gonna happen uh if it's not this ban list is gonna be after nationals so i would suggest not and just kind of leaving them where they are, trying off them. One more thing that I would suggest, and I actually don't have the cards out right now. Uh, let me let me see if I can pull them out real quick. One deck I've I highly suggest picking up is Black Wings. Black Wings are extremely cheap. If you want to get a low rarity version of the deck, even all altars, you can get the whole deck for 50 bucks. Um, and they are getting support. They're getting support in a pack or a gold series. It's already confirmed that they're getting support eventually. So they have a potential to price hike. They can OTK very, very quickly and effectively when the cards come out for them. So I'd pick them up now. All right, guys, well, this has been Shadow Fox, and I will have a deck profile or a um, or an opinion on something next time. So take it easy, guys. Peace.